Yeah, this, I can see this, it's a prototype. But, uh, it is a prototype. It is uh, currently, uh, what we, this is the PTS PDR, the Personal Defense Rifle. And uh, it's based off the 556 platform. Uh, Magpul Industries USA, they designed a prototype, non-functional at the time, but they were, they were, they had this, this idea of a personal defense rifle that was a full pup, really, really, but had some nice ergonomics that they liked from the FN series of P90s and everything else. Yes. They used the Stan Mags. Mm -hmm. you know, I like it because it's very sort of a, as we share with Gus Michelle, Apple C so style Absolutely. is is very sci-fi, it's very, very cool. Uh -huh. What we like about it is the fact that, you know, ergonomics wise, it's it just it's tight, it's small. Mm -hmm. Feels great. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, they're still gonna go through some revisions. You know, we 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 uh, we, we want to change certain things just to make it a little bit better. And uh, we do uh, try to aspire for you know as much accuracy to the original as possible. Sure. Um, this right here, uh, people think it's actually a safety, but what it actually is is this is a mag release right here. And the value of that is that you know a lot of people um, who go from using like a like a AR-15 style gun, you know. Having to use a mag release on the rear, like for like the SA80, the LA5, I mean, or the AUG, you mm -hmm. know, is you know, functionality-wise, ergonomics, just you know, how you how you work a weapon, you know, was a little bit different. And what they wanted to do was they wanted to make sure that they had a system that replicated more similarly to what they're familiar, what the standard user would be familiar, familiar with. Uh -huh. So you can be able to drop the mag from there. This is a non-functional prototype, so I can't really show you. Sure. But you'll be able to release the mag from here and then pull it out, or just have it drop free, uh -huh. slap a new one in, and just go. Now, I can't help but notice how similar it looks to the P90, especially here in the front. Uh, I mean, the P90 comes with the rail and the, the red dot platform. Is this going to have any kind of diff uh, different furniture setups you know, that you can really switch out? Question. I am not entirely sure. Okay. Um, currently, this is just a prototype. We're just trying to figure out all the specifics. It's planned to be an Airsoft uh, AEG. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much where we're at. Um, we're, we're working on the internals. We're trying to figure it out. But it's definitely, we're, we're very excited about it. Right on. Ergonomics wise, tight little package. Yeah. You know, you can really get in on it. Great stuff. Check it out. Show the folks. It's tiny. It is tiny. It it's feels small. it feels like I mean it's it feels like a pistol with a foregrip, really. I love this muzzle brake. I mean I don't know if you guys want to get close up on that. Yeah. It's a pretty vicious style looking muscle muzzle yeah. brake. It's, it's pretty badass. Yeah. Right on. Thank you. Okay, so what's this? I, I, you've got this briefcase looking thing sitting on the table and yeah, well, I want to pretend that I don't know what it is. I you know it's I'm just amazed. It's pretty nondescript, but uh, you know. Out of nowhere, you pretty much get like a little Glock in the box, is what yeah, they call it. This is the FPG, the folding pistol, uh, folding pistol gun, and um, it's 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 a really nice little package. Um, this is a gas blowback based off KWA internals. Okay. This is actually the full gun, um, and you can see that it's got a full length barrel inside. Uh, the standard would just be stopping right there. Uh -huh. You just put the regular internals in. Okay. This one has a full length barrel. You drop it back here, and uh, yeah, you're pretty much ready to rock. The original one was really important that they designed it so that, you know, opening-wise, it only opened to the 90-degree angle and uh -huh. rather go all the way forward. So they're really concerned about, you know, putting a hand over the muzzle. Sure. Very, very bad thing. Uh -huh. So the idea was that you can open up to 90 degrees and that's where it stops. Mm -hmm. so close it back. Everything is is fully ambidextrous. So with this charging handle right here, I can actually switch it to the other side uh -huh. uh, just by taking a few parts apart. So pretty much just locks back. Ready to go. That's awesome. Yeah, it's very, very cool. Um, another thing that we're excited about that should be coming out this year is our MOE line of guns. Mm -hmm. They use pretty much all our MOE components. Uh, we designed this, we're pretty excited about it. Um, you know, uh, what was important to a lot of users was, you know, ambidextrous features. Yeah. You know, version 2 has always been kind of a trouble thing with, you know, ambidextrous safeties. You know, you know, I've taken a lot of real, real steel gun classes, like dynamics and all that. Yeah. You know, I'm always flicking my safeties, you know. I'm always working both sides. And um, it was important to me to have something that has something that is actually fully ambidextrous. Mm -hmm. and that's what this is. It's fully ambidextrous, and you know, it's, it's you know, we're not entirely sure about the MSRP, but we're trying to make sure that uh, we, we stay competitive with, with uh, everybody else. And then again, is this something that's going to be can be released as a separate uh, kit of parts that they can put an existing? I don't believe so. I think initially we're definitely going for the full gun package. Okay. So this is pretty much all our MOE parts. Um, you know, you gotta, you're gonna have the new pistol grip coming out, uh -huh. which actually has the full um, little magpul emblems. We have the uh, MOE hand, uh, handguard and stock, um, and then we have all the magpul markings on the receiver. 
Right on. So I'm pretty excited about that. All steel, all metal receiver. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, later this year, we'll probably be coming out with Sportline, which have a plastic receiver, mm -hmm. but very, very similar cars to try and make sure that we're uh, uh, accessible more to the uh, to people who are more budget minded. Absolutely. Yeah. That's All right, much it. Alex, it's been great. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us.